Welcome back. We are here on Etero looking at the cryptocurrency market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, December 22nd, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and, and courses, of course. And the link is down below. So we'll start by looking at uh, Bitcoin. There has been a lot of action in the markets today because there's been so there's been so much news going on, big news. So usually there is just one major headline today. There has been four or five major headlines that have just um, that have uh, pulled the market up and down and so on and so on. And also the cryptocurrency market, um, and probably especially because the US dollar has been jumping up and down. So it started appreciating earlier in the session and you could basically see Bitcoin dropping significantly all the way down to 21,880 and now we're trading at 22,890. So at this point, I think that we are going to go lower. And the reason why I say that is because these technical indicators, first of all, are turning around. They have been turning around for um, a while now and... Um, I don't think that we're going to break the 20 exponential. I do believe that we are going to get really close to it before we have a major rally. So the 20 exponential has been very supportive for a very long time. This was just a ridiculous move to the upside. Uh, I prefer these movements um, instead of this major movement. I usually just stay out of the market when you have these movements because it can just ruin your, your, your trading account uh, actually. If you're lucky, of course, you make a lot of money, but you can just as well be on the wrong side of things and, and it can go horribly wrong. But there is a floor here and it's roughly around this area here. I don't think that we're going to get through uh, 20,000. That is just going to be an enormous amount of support at 20,000. And at this point, 20 exponential is at 20,500, give or take. So if you look at the Fibonacci retracement here, we can see that we haven't got we got close to that first. So the 32, 38.2 is right here, roughly at 21,572. If we manage to break that, then the 50 is right here at 20,800, just above the 20 exponential. And that is probably as far as this market will go if we go further down. And I think that it depends on whether or not the US dollar starts appreciating again. So we basically saw what basically happened when that ha occurred. So so uh, pay attention to the US dollar. Um, if it starts to appreciate again, then yes, it is possible for this to go a little bit further down. But getting close to the 20 exponential, I would consider as a major buying opportunity with a stop loss right underneath around 20, uh, 90,500. I would be surprised if we got all the way down there because 20,000 is going to be absolutely a nightmare to get through if we try to test that. But roughly here, 20,000, uh, 20,000, 21,000, that is your entry point for a buy. Technical indicators are turning around. So be, it, uh, be aware we are still overbought, but this market can get all the way up to 93 in the RSI before this market falls. Uh, MACD is still above the signal line, uh, the stochastic is on the signal line, and the, the CCI is becoming bearish. So we may see this go towards this level here and then rally after that. So let's look at Ethereum. We can see that we got to the 20 exponential and then rallied. So this is kind of what I expect is going to happen in Bitcoin, that we're going towards the 20 exponential maybe pierce it or just get really close to it and then rally after that. So we got down to uh, roughly 591 and then we rallied towards uh, 608 at this point. But I don't think that uh, Ethereum is out of the woods yet. Um, it could fall even further, uh, roughly 574, this area here, if I write it up. So this area here should be massive support so it could fall towards this area and then rally because these technical indicators here are looking dreadful at this point macd is crossing the signal line so casting has crossed it 
we are heading towards zero in the CCI, which is very bearish. And the RSI is also bearish. So uh, if we get close to this area here, you have the 50 moving average also moving this way. There is a lot of support underneath there, but we need to turn around in order to in, in order to basically buy this. So hope you found this helpful. You're welcome to uh, support our channel by hitting, clicking on the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button if you want to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.